Hey beauties, it's me, Aaron O'Brien, and today we are going to talk about Oscar's hair. Was it glam or was it a sham? Well, first off, we're going to start off with Anna. What's her name? Anna de... <laughs> Anna de Hermes. Hopefully I got that right. She was like Marilyn Monroe and did I like her hair for the Oscars? She's wearing it straight, she's wearing it shiny, middle part. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a sham. It's kind of ordinary to me, especially for the Oscars. Did her dress look fantastic? Yes, but her hair could have done with something a little bit extra. With Anna's hair, I would have maybe even wore it up. I would have even done like a Hollywood wave, maybe slick it back on one side with a further part over, nice wave, even longer, really to get that dramatic look. Cause that's what I think she was lacking. She needs more drama, people. What do you think? Oh, next one, who's this? Andy McDowell, <gasps> not a sham, a glam. Yeah, she was amazing. I loved her natural hair color, it looked great. Liked how she had it slicked back. She almost reminded me, did you ever see that movie Big? The girl in Big? The girl that went out with, what's his name? Can someone give me a name? <laughs> what's his name? Tom Hanks. That was the kind of hair, that was the kind of vibe that she was giving me. Absolutely loved it. It was a classic. So, thumbs up from me. Okay, so we have the very beautiful, very gorgeous Angela Bassett. Oh, I love me a bit of Angela. She is gorgeous. Her hair for me was definitely a glam. She just looked beautiful. Those kind of beachy, curly waves. I just, oh, I was living for that moment. Went perfectly with her dress as well. She had that one shoulder poof. So I think the hair really balanced it out. So yeah, big glam from me. Ariana the voice, what did we think? Oh my God, beauty, beauty, beauty. Love her hair, very sleek, absolutely matches the dress. The dress was all about glamour and that's what we wanted to concentrate on. And she kept her hair just plain, simple, beautiful. Oh, I love this. Ashley Graham. <gasps> Ashley Graham. Oh my God. Wow. Living. Glam, 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 glam. She's all about the glam. Loved her hair. It was giving me a futuristic moment. I like the way the back of it looks here. Absolutely fantastic. Big, big, glam, glam, bam. Ava, what do we think? I like it, but I kind of don't like it. It's a little bit plain for me. The dress has a lot of drama, but I don't know. She could have just done something a little extra with the hair. Um, I just think something a little bit more intricate. It was just a little plain for me. So let's say I'll give her a pass because I didn't hate it that much. So yeah, pass. Oh, Cara Delevingne, I loved her hair. She's definitely a glam for me. It was more about the dress and the makeup hair and she needed that slick back hair. I just thought it looked really good. Even though it was plain, it still added a little bit of drama. So big, big glam for me. Kate Blanchett, enjoyed her hair. Thinks it looks good. Big glam for me, kind of plain, simple. And I think this is like the trend across for everyone really on the red carpet was kind of plain, but I really do like this. I, I just like the way it's natural and loose. Yeah, definitely a glam. Next up we have Topeka. I don't know if I like this at all. This was a sham for me. Looked a little bit on the frizzy side. It just looked a bit plain. I think she needed, I would have added more body, more volume to that hair. The dress had a lot of body and volume to it, and I just think it made her head look a little bit smaller. Yeah, so a sham. Elizabeth Banks, I think, um, looked at, what's her name again? <laughs> I think Elizabeth Banks went to the same hairstylist as Kate Blanchett, because they had very similar styles at the front. Very loose, but I just think she needed something at the side, maybe like a bit of a chignon. I know she has shorter hair, could have added a few extensions in there just to give that volume at the side to balance off this big ruffle thing she has. Does she have a ruffle? <laughs> Is that a ruffle or a bow at the back? I don't even know what I'm looking at, but I just think she needed more volume at the side. Yeah, um, so let's go a pass, because it's not that bad. Okay, so we have Elizabeth Olsen. I don't know, I think this is a sham. It's, I think it makes her look really gaunt. It's very slick. I think she looks very slim in the face anyway. And I just think that's just kind of dragging everything down. I think she just needs a little bit of looseness around the face, so it's a sham for me. So yeah, let's move on. Emily Blunt. I love Emily Blunt anyway, and I really like her hair in this too. This pick, her dress is beautiful. It's nice and just fitted and slender. And her hair is doing the very same thing, but it's balanced nicely. There's a little bit of looseness in there as well. So I really love this one. Glam all the way. Ooh. Eva, okay, Eva Langoria. Um, I love Eva Langoria. She's great, love the dress uh, to an extent. 
I don't love the dress, I'm lying. Um, hair is a little bit messy for me. Like even though I love that kind of messy, to me what looks like a little bit of a wet look, or is it greasy, I don't know. Um, but it's just, I think it needs to be tidied up a bit. It just needs to be polished. Nothing against the hairstylist that did this, but maybe she did this herself. I don't know, moving on. All right, ooh, Halle Bailey. Ooh, Halle Bailey, I love her hair. This is a big glam for me. Oh, The Little Mermaid, she, oh, I die for her. She is great. Just love her hair, every aspect of it. I like the volume in the back. I like the sleekness. Just how she wears this is perfection. Love the dress, love the makeup, love everything. Glam, glam, glam. Oh, I like this. Halle Berry. Halle Berry looks amazing in this. I love her dress. I love her hair. I love these Hollywood waves. It just gives me a little bit of body, a bit of volume, a bit of glamour, a bit of old school. She is glam all the way. I wasn't a big fan of the last year's version. Didn't really like her then. This is a big glam for me. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. But can we please get a new hairstyle? You've been wearing this since like the past 20 years, like do something a little bit different. Yes, it's short. Yes, it's cropped. I love short hair, but it's always the same. Love your dress. Love you, Jamie. It's a sham for me though. Please do something different next time. Moving but, on. But it's her iconic look. I have Omar here who's recording me saying that this is an iconic look. Yes, it is, but it's the Oscars. Change it a little. Um, Janelle Monet. Oh, Janelle Monet. She looks good, sleek, beautiful. Love her hair, she is a queen. I just love the sleekness of this, but sleek in a good way. The dress is sleek, everything's sleek. Well done, Janelle, you are a sex goddess. Jennifer Connelly, oh, Jennifer Connelly. Jennifer Connelly, I love you, Jennifer Connelly, and you are a glam. I like this, I like how sleek it is, I like how it works the dress, I love how it falls off your arms, but the hair is, yeah, I just like the sleekness of it. It's plain, but I don't know, it's still giving me drama. Big love. Jessica Chastain, loving the length of the hair. Very Hollywood, quite simple, but it works perfectly with the dress. I love the train on the dress as well, but the hair really follows through. It's like it's all in unison and one. Those waves just match perfectly. You look so glamorous. Big, big glam. I'm saying a lot of glams here, not a lot of shams, so it's a good hair day at the Oscars. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesse Buckley, I take that back. I take it back that all the hair was nice at the Oscars. This was a big sham for me. Like, whoever did your hair should have directed you in the right way that this was not a look. I understand the dress was very dramatic, kind of goth-like, and I actually really liked the dress, but the hair really took away from it. Um, that textured kind of shorter bob with the hair color was just too much. I actually think something a little bit sleeker with this would have worked really well. We could have added a voluminous ponytail at the back or something that had a little bit of volume but definitely sleek at the front to give more drama with the makeup and the dress. So big sham for me. Sorry, Jessie, and sorry to your hairstylist. Okay. Oh, Julia, Louise. Yes. Um, I do like your hair. Dress is a little plain, hair is a little plain. Kind of goes together. I'll give it a pass. Was it horrible? No. Kate Hudson, glam. I absolutely loved her hair. Looked great, loved the length, loved the waves, loved the dress. Big glam for me, wouldn't have changed a thing. You are a natural beauty. With makeup and hair and a beautiful dress. Kelly Ripper, I really like Kelly Ripper's hair. She looks great here. I think she looks fantastic. Dress looks good. Very simple, but really iconic. I like it. Hair, love the length, love the waves, love the color, love everything about it. Yeah, I just think she looks really good. Big glam for me. Oh, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, I always love me a bit of Lady Gaga. The dress was really dramatic. It was very classic. I just thought she looked really beautiful. The hair though, I kind of like the statement behind it and what she was doing, going from one look to the other, how she normally does in keeping the hair. It was, you're gonna hate me for saying this because I absolutely adore Lady Gaga, but I didn't love the hair. I didn't love it. I'm sorry, Lady Gaga, just not for me. 
even though you are one of my favorite people in the world, so don't hate me and please don't come for me. Like, I understand why Lady Gaga did it. She was going for a no makeup look in the performance. She was probably keeping the hair plain, so I take it back. I give her a pass. I can't do that to you, Lady Gaga. You always look good. <sighs> Malala, she looked amazing. I just loved how she looked. Very, the dress was just very glamorous, very sparkly. I love me a bit of spark, but the hair went really well. It worked for her, it was very cohesive the whole way through. Big thumbs up to you. I'm gonna just say, I love you. Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> so Melissa McCarthy, there's so many things I can say. That dress, it's a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not because I love you and I think you are absolutely hilarious but dress not so much for me but did the hair go with the dress no it didn't it wasn't cohesive I felt that if you were doing a dress like this I think maybe I don't I don't even know what to say maybe you just shouldn't have worn a dress and um, hair on its own was it it was functional I can't say it's a sham because I like you <laughs> so let's say pass to the hair but the dress was a sham Oh, Michelle Williams. Michelle Williams, I absolutely love your hair. You looked great. You're a big glam for me. Love the color, it really popped, but I just love your haircut. Your stylist is a genius and it went really well with the dress, that ivory skin with that blonde hair. You are a showstopper. Michelle, yo. Yo, yo, what's up? Cue the sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle. I love your acting, absolutely beautiful, dress stunning. Hair, I felt you could have maybe wore it up a little bit, even do a faux bob where it's a little bit shorter. I think it would have really worked. It's not bad by any means, you always look stunning, but we're gonna give this a pass because I think the hair could have been a little bit better. Um, oh, Mindy Kaling looks absolutely amazing. Mindy Kaling, you look stunning, everything is a glam. Loved your hair, loved your dress. The hair was definitely a statement. It was sleek. It was just dripping off your body. Really enjoyed it. Big glam for me, big thumbs up, and I'm a big fan. Molly Sims was a um, sham for me. Didn't really like the hair. Thought it was a little bit underdone, kind of dragged you down a little bit. The dress, I don't just don't know if anything worked. Um, you are beautiful, but just, yeah, not for me. Oh, Nicole Kidman. Oh, Nicole Kidman giving me sex kitten. I don't know why I felt 60 vibes off this. Giving me a bit of Bridget Bardot without the bangs, a lot of volume in here. It was plain and simple, but it really worked with the dress. You just look like a little sexy siren. Oh, yeah. Rihanna, I love the dress, I love the body, love the baby bump. I loved how everything worked out there, but the hair is a sham for me. Just a little bit messy. I just felt it needed a little bit more attention, but the idea was there. And if it was just given that bit more attention, it would have been more cohesive. But mm, yeah, sham for the hair. Jesus Christ. Rooney Mara looked like the corpse bride. The hair, too sleek. The dress just wasn't working. So this is a sham for me, because the hair is too sleek and she needs a bit of body to lift her up. And that's what I would have done. Um, oh, Salma Hayek. Salma Hayek, loved everything about it. You're a disco diva. This hair looks absolutely great. I think it worked very cohesive. And that's what I talk about. The hair doesn't always have to be perfect, but it has to work together. Um, which I think Salma Hayek, this worked perfectly for you. So a big glam for me. Hmm, beautiful. Oh, Sandra, Sandra. Oh, oh I kind of like it. Sandra, oh, I love your hair. Yes, I do. It looks really good. Kind of has that textured vibe to it. It's messy, but it, it's it's intentional. And it looks great with the dress. The dress has these beautiful lines. I like the bulk in the dress as well. It looks so good, but I just like the texture. It's, mm, that's a big glam for me. Sigourney Weaver, this was a sham for me. I just, I don't love the hair with it. Even though it's kind of given Hollywood vibes, I just think it's a little bit old. I think I would have added maybe something with a bit more body and um, a bit more length maybe. I even would have put it up with a few loose waves around the front. Uh, but yeah, sorry, this is a sham for me. Oh, who is this, Thames? Is this Thames? Oh, Thames, this is, she is a goddess. That dress, the hair, everything, it was, ugh. 
As they say, chef's kiss. Mwah. She looked so good. This is a big glam for me. Like everything about it, no complaints. Vanessa Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens, I actually love this. Like the dress, very timeless. It was giving me breakfast at Tiffany's in a way with the dress and then the hair, I just thought nicely slicked back, very plain and simple, but it was giving me drama and I, I really liked it. So big glam for me. Winnie Harlow. I don't know whether I liked her dress, but I absolutely loved her hair. I like that looseness. I like the few kind of tentacles coming down the face. It was a glam for me for the hair. Yeah, well done. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed doing it. What do you think in the comments below? Whether it was a glam or a sham? Was I right? Was I wrong? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and get ready for more of these fantastic videos. I hope you love me, because I love you beauties.